Everyone knows how useful text-to-speech is at this point. You've heard it all over TikTok for the past few years. And now AI is even able to clone people's voices. I've even been using my own voice clone this entire time. Yep, that wasn't even me speaking to you the whole time. That was AI. I trained AI to clone my voice because it's actually super useful in the video creation process. From scenarios where you might need to correct something you said wrong on camera, to simply making videos without your face or real voice so you never have to film anything at all, having a voice clone is super helpful. And today I'm gonna show you guys how to do this so you can use your own voice in your text-to-speech whenever you like. So all you guys need to do is click on the first link in the description to get started and I'll see you guys over at Kapwing which is the tool to voice clone. Okay so the first thing you want to do is click the first link in the description and then you just have to click the try voice cloning. So it'll take you here to the audio tab under the text-to-speech tab and then you just want to go down here and click the add voice clone button. Now to be able to clone your voice you do need to have a business or enterprise account on Kapwing, you can check out the pricing on that on kapwing.com slash pricing. So once you get that account, then you can just type in the name here. But yeah, now you have a couple of options. So first you can upload audio samples that you already have. Um, for the best results, these should be one to five minutes long. You kind of want to give a reasonably long sample because AI will then be able to tell more of the nuances of your voice, how you say things, your cadence, your inflections, and things like that. Or if you want to record a sample, you can definitely do that. Just go down here and click record sample. Then you can go over here and click the show script button in the drop down, and then it'll give you a script that you can read. You're gonna wanna read this over and over until you record two to three minutes of content. You also wanna go down here to the bottom right and make sure you have your best microphone toggled on. Then you're just going to want to start recording and then read this script. And then you'd read that over and over again until you have recorded two to three minutes of sample. So I will just do that quickly. Then when you're done, you will see that your file has uploaded and then click this confirmation button that says you are the owner of this voice or have explicit permission to clone this voice and then click the clone button and then it will generate your voice clone. Then you will be taken back here to the text-to-speech tab, and then when you look at this list of voices right here in the dropdown, you'll find your voice. You can go ahead and click it to get a preview of what you might sound like. Automatically turn your text into speech with an AI-generated voice. So that's the one I currently have that was using like an eight-minute sample. This is the one I just did. Automatically turn your text into speech with an AI-generated voice. So as you can see, your microphone quality really does have a big difference, so always use your best microphone. I I, right now I'm using my best microphone to record this voice over here so I couldn't actually use that one which is what this one up here jack 2 is which is best because the microphone is best so always try to use your best microphone possible and now you can get started using your voice so you can add in text-to-speech here and say hello my name is Jack and then generate that and here we go hello my name is Jack how are you so really pretty good at mimicking my voice, I think. So here's an example of how you might use this in a video. So I have this video here that has an overlay, but let's say that in the audio recording that I recorded, I said something wrong. So let's listen. Video is more important than ever when it comes to dominating search engine results pages. But let's say that's not what I meant to say. Go over to the audio tab here and go to the text to speech button, then type in what you did want to say. So let's just say that I meant to say video is the most important thing when it comes to dominating search engine results pages. I can just type that in, then pick my voice, then click generate. I'm also going to split this clip right here because that's where that portion of the audio comes in. And I will split at the end of where I say that and then I'll just go ahead and bring down the volume on the original clip and I've added in my generated clip. So let's test how that sounds on Google results pages. Video is the most important thing when it comes to dominating search engine results pages and creating organic content. So you might need to do a little editing to make it sound really seamless. I'm going to take this in at the end here so it's a bit quicker and I want to delete the auto-generated subtitles but let's try now. Results pages. Video is the most important thing when it comes to dominating search engine results pages and creating organic content on YouTube that can help people who are searching for tutorials. So now you can fix anything that you may have messed up in the recording process or you can go down here and create a generated AI video. So you could say create a 
video about, and let's say I want a video about how airplanes can fly for a school project or something. Then you can go over here to the narration voice and pick your voice and generate that video. And now you have a video that is auto-generated with my voice speaking. Airplanes are able to fly due to the forces of lift and thrust. When a plane is in motion, air moves over its wings, generating lift. And as you can see, there may need to be some edits made. I need to bring down this volume of this background music. I could expand the videos to take up the whole portions of the frame. But pretty cool that I can just, with a few words now, create a video with stock footage, b-roll, overlays, subtitles, and my own cloned voice to make a video in literally a few clicks and just a few seconds. So try it out for yourself and let me know how it goes. All right, you guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope this was helpful and I hope now you can use your cloned voice to do anything you want and confuse people. <laughs> make sure to subscribe to the channel to keep up with other tutorials and video tips like this one. And we'll see you guys in the next one.